What's going on, everyone? So the Charlotte Hornets, based on recent reports, are officially listening to offers for Terry Rozier. They are willing to move off of Terry Rozier. Now, we don't know exactly what the asking price is as far as what they want. Now, obviously, they are looking for some assets in return. But if we're being honest, like, look, Terry Rozier is having a rough season. Uh, he's 28 years old. He's an undersized guard at 6'1". Uh, he is a guy that has been linked to the Lakers for some time. And based on the reports, the Lakers are still very interested in uh, Terry Rozier. And they would love Terry Rozier. Now, he is as far as scoring-wise goes. Uh, you know, he's he's averaging just under 21 points a game. Uh, but production-wise, has not been the greatest, right? He... Uh, Currently, from three-point range this season, he's shooting under 33%, which is not what you want, especially from a 6'1 guard. But he is a guy that, for his career, shoots around 37%, uh, even with the poor shooting. He's a guy that's had multiple seasons of 37-plus percent, right? I mean, even last year, he shot just under 37.5%. Uh, the year before that, he shot 40%. Uh, and then the year before that, he shot around 40%. So, again, this is a guy that you know can shoot, He's been asked to take on a much bigger role for the majority of the season uh, with LaMelo Ball out. Uh, so I'm sure that that kind of, you know, added an impact uh, to his production, uh, especially given that like he was the he, for, you know, a good majority of the season. He was like the primary guy. Right, like he was the guy. Like teams were double teaming him. He was he was having a hard time getting shots off because he was kind of the only scoring option for a for a good chunk of the season. And so now, uh, if he was to go to a team where he actually kind of you know like a team like the Lakers, right, where he's not going to be the one number one or number two option, he's going to be the number three or four option, right? He's a guy that I think could really make an impact. Uh, for the Lakers. And if the price is right, I think it's a move that you pick up. I really like the idea of Terry Rozier. I've liked the idea of Terry Rozier for quite some time. If you're the Lakers, you're not you're not giving up any first for Rozier. You know, you're taking on, you know, a hundred million dollars in salary uh for for Rozier. He's having a bad season, right? Like you're doing the Hornets a favor by you know clearing the salary books. He's not. I don't see a team giving up a first round pick. I mean, you can make an argument that the Charlotte Hornets should have to give up assets in order for a team to take on Terry Rozier. I just think the Lakers aren't really in a position to be like, oh yeah, you have to give us stuff, right? And I do think Terry Rozier could make an actual impact and move the needle for the Lakers. So I think if you can get him for say, you know, let's say Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn, you do that swap, right? Because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, you're another guard, you're going to take a smaller guard and you're unloading two small guards to get one and you're getting one that is going to be a much better fit and do a lot of things that we really need. So yes, I would, I wouldn't mind that in that case. Uh, but if you could just straight up swap, you know, Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn for Terry Rozier, I think you'd do it. I really do. Now, ideally, I'd like them to get other pieces. I really would. Um, I, I don't want, I, I'd prefer them not just do Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn for Terry Rozier. Again, if that is ultimately what happens, I'm not going to be mad about it. I actually would be excited about that deal, but I would like to get, can we get a, a Kelly Oubre? Can we get a, a PJ Washington preferably, right? Like if we could get Terry Rozier and like a PJ Washington, I think that that might be worth a first, you know, or wouldn't even mind the big home run deal, right? Where it'd be like Russ and like Nunn or something like that for PJ Washington, Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier, and Gordon Hayward. I wouldn't mind that at all. And you shouldn't have to give up any draft picks in that deal, right? Because I mean, you're taking on a hundred million of Terry Rozier's contract, and then you're taking Gordon Hayward's next two seasons, which is like another fifty plus million. So I mean, you're taking on like a hundred and fifty million in salary, and you're gonna have to pay PJ Washington, you're gonna have to pay Kelly Oubre, because you're not gonna want to just let them go for nothing. And if you're the Hornets, that's a great deal for you, even if you don't get any picks, because now you have like a hundred million in cash space. You got Lamelo Ball. You're gonna re-sign Bridges. And you're probably going to be one of the teams that land uh, you know, Scoot Henderson or the grand prize, which is Victor Wimanyama. 
it, that's to me is still the best deal that's on the table because you get three sizable wings that could play multiple positions. Uh, you could literally start all three of these guys next to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Have LeBron play the point. Let you know start Hayward at the two, Ubre at the three, Washington at the four, and and Davis at the five. There you go. You know, or you could bring one of these guys off the bench. Maybe start Schroeder at the point, LeBron at the at the four or the three, PJ Washington at the four. Like it just gives you so much flexibility, right? And you could have Terry Rozier. You could have him start. You could have him come off the bench, right? So maybe you go Rozier, uh, LeBron, uh, you know Hayward. Uh, Washington and Davis. Like again, it just gives you so much flexibility. I just think that this would be the home run deal. I think it's a reasonable deal. I think it's a win-win for both sides. You're clearing all your salary space. You're a team that's already tanking and terrible. Uh, you know, maybe you give up a second or two just to make them feel like they won. You know, I don't. I wouldn't mind that. Like if you're giving up a second round pick. Or maybe even two. Like, say you're giving up your, this year's second round and you're giving up Chicago's 2023 second round. Bite the bullet, do it, get these guys and move on, especially if you're getting PJ Washington. Now you have PJ Washington for the next, you know, several, seven plus years. That's a home run. I, I think that that would be a great deal. But if the Lakers could land Terry Rozier and get him in a Lakers jersey, I, I think you do it. I really do. I mean, it gets you another 20 point per game scorer. Um, he's a guy that it, that can now play on the ball, off the ball. He's a guy that can score on all three levels. And he's a guy, in my opinion, the Lakers really need, right? The Lakers, the problem is the Lakers don't have a guy that can just go generate a bucket, right? Like LeBron, LeBron, he can get to the hoop and get you a bucket, but he's not a guy that's that's like crossing people up, you know, jab step, boom, 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 pull up, splash, right? He's not that guy, right? Even Lonnie Walker, he's more of like a let me get to the hoop, I'm going to either catch and shoot or I'm going to get to the hoop, use my athleticism and try to finish. Uh, you know, Anthony Davis is probably the closest thing we have, but even he has been struggling and hasn't been able to do what he was able to do and replicate in the bubble where you could just dump the ball to him and he could, you know, jab, step, step back, boom, splash, right? Or, you know, pull up, uh, you know, sidestep, three, splash, like that, like, we don't have a guy like that. Russ can't do that. LeBron, like all of our guys that can just go get a bucket all have to go get a bucket at the rim, right? LeBron has that little floater, but again, you need to dump it down to him. He posts, backs him down, and then does a little fadeaway, turn around, whatever, right? A guy like Terry Rozier, I think, would add such a nice level. All the pick and pops you could run, all the pick and rolls you could run with him. Uh, also, not just that, but again, it's a guy you could just give the ball to. He can operate in the mid range. He could catch and shoot. You know, he could just you know get you a little step back, knock down a three. Like he's a guy that can just go get you a bucket at all three levels, which the Lakers really need. Like that's what we were hoping with Kendrick Nunn. And Kendrick Nunn has been improved as of late. He's been much better uh, than he was in the beginning of the season. But he is just so sporadic. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times if you've been watching Laker games recently since he's had his sort of like resurgence, I guess. He'll have like two really nice plays. And you're like, man, this is what we're talking. This is the guy we need. We needed a guy like this, right? We need a, a, a Kendrick Nunn type player. This is the guy we want. And then like the next three plays, it's just he thinks he's Michael Jordan. You know, he's like taking on three guys. He's, you know, trying to cross dudes up. And it's like, pass the ball, give the ball. And he starts ball hugging. And then Darvin Ham ends up taking him out the game. We it's happened the last literally like four or five games. It's unbelievable. Terry Rozier, you won't have that problem. He 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 understands the role. He he has the experience. He can he can go and get you buckets if you needed to. He's a guy that can go get you fifty, right? You know, scary Terry. He's a guy that legit can help you in multitude of ways. He's more of a shooting guard than a point guard, but that's great. You got LeBron James. You got Russell Westbrook, right? Unless you do like you know the Grand Slam trade where you end up unloading Russell Westbrook. But if you could turn Patrick Beverly and Kendrick Nunn. Into into Ter Rozier, I think you do that all day. You're turning two guys that haven't really done much for you all season into a 20 point per game guy. That just takes a lot of pressure off of LeBron James. Takes a lot of pressure off of Anthony Davis, and he's a guy that can help in those close games. Like that's been a big problem that we have had, right? I mean, even even yesterday's game, right? We've lost so many close games. It's insane because we don't have a guy that can consistently get you 15 plus a night. 
And that's a real issue. You have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook. Anthony Davis isn't playing right now. So the Lakers only have Russell Westbrook and LeBron James. Those are the only two guys that can get you 15 to 20 a night. We don't have anyone else. Terry Rozier can be that guy. Terry Rozier's a guy that can come in and as a third, fourth option, still give you 15 points a game, night in and night out, shoot a better percentage. And I do believe that if he was on a team like the Lakers, I do think he could get back to 40% from three because teams aren't going to be able to hone in on him like they do with the Hornets. Right, like the Hornets only have like so many scoring threats, so they're, they're like teams aren't worried about it. not just that, but it, when you're on a, a, a you know a dysfunctional team, a team that's tanking, a team that's not very good, it's hard to you know generate that. But you know it's a fresh scene. You got LeBron James, I got Anthony Davis, I got Russell Westbrook. Like let's go, right? I'm going from a team that's tanking for Victor Wembanyama to a team that's trying to win a championship, that's trying to get to the playoffs. I can be a part of that. Let me come in. Let me play my role. Let me go get a bucket. Let me be scary Terry and, and and generate something here. I really think he's a guy that can make an impact for this team. I think he would be great. You know, so many people want, you know, Kyrie Irving, right? Terry Rozier could be our Kyrie light. And I'm not, and look, Kyrie is, is just another level, right? He like Terry Rozier is a great player. Kyrie Irving is a superstar. Like that guy is another level. I want to make that clear. But a lot of the things that Kyrie can do, so can Terry Rozier. Score on all three levels. Play on the ball. Play off the ball. Right? Like, all of those things are important. Terry Rozier, is not a great defender, so that would hurt. That's why I kind of also want the, you know, the Hornets deal, because you get a bunch of sizable wins that can help in that defensive department. And as well as if you have Anthony Davis, now you got that big shot blocker, the, the guy that kind of puts it all together. That would be great, but... Even if you just go get Terry Rozier, especially if you don't have to give anything up for him. There is no way you're giving up a first-round pick for Terry Rozier. No way. If the Lakers give up a first for Terry Rozier, they're out of their mind, right? Like, again, you want you want a second? Sure, we'll give you a second. You know, But we're taking on $100 million in salary for a guy that's having one of his worst seasons. Yes, his scoring, his scoring intake has been great, but... He's also taking more shots. He's ineffective, right? He's not He's not having the efficiency that he's had in the past. So he's having a bad year. Not only is he having a bad year, he's on, he's on a, a heavy contract. There's no way you're giving up a first. So get him for a reasonable price. Uh, if you can get him for essentially free, I think you get it. I think you take the chance on him. You're going to be able to trade him. You're going to be able to unload him at some point if it doesn't work out. But I think he's a guy that can come in and really make an impact for this team if anything he's a guy that can consistently give you 13 to 15 points per game and that's the Lakers need at least that so if you could do that I I think I think it's a no-brainer this is this is an all-day trade to me but as always is a discussion so I want to hear from you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below what do you think do you agree with me yes if you can go get Terry Rozier go get Terry Rozier there's no-brainer trade make it happen don't give up a first, right? You, then you still have both your first, right? So you could do a rush trade if you wanted to uh, and, and have both first. And maybe go do a Spurs deal or something like that. Uh, or maybe do multiple deals. You'd still have a guy like Lonnie Walker that you could, you could you know, stack some contracts if you needed to and, and maybe go pull off some other trade. I, I, I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mind Terry Rozier at all. Personally, I'd still like Boyan Bogdanovich. I think that that's just more of a natural fit. But I do think Terry Rozier could work. And I think if all else fails, Terry Rozier could be the guy that could come in and, and actually make an impact. And he might actually be cheap enough for us to, to acquire him. Um, but again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments section.